And then on Thursday, October 27th, Thursday is Jupiter's Day, the planet of luck, expansion, and abundance. So this is going to help us to think big and to doubt our limits. We have a Scorpio moon early in the morning on Thursday, and then a lunar will enter Sagittarius. Ah, ah, lunar enters Sagittarius at 6.54 a.m. EDT. The rainbow comes out. Sagittarius keywords and phrases include aspiration, adventure, optimistic, broad-minded, outspoken, expansive, wanderlust, eager, and fun. So, um, yeah, enjoy your Sagittarius moon on Thursday. And it's also Black Cat Day. Black Cat Day. And despite ominous superstitions, many people also believe black cats bring prosperity, fortune, and luck. I think they actually have, um, in these different, like, shelters or animal rescues, um, Black Cat Day for adopting black cats, because sometimes they are discriminated against because of those ominous superstitions. So um, maybe even play Janet Jackson's song, Black Cat, and dance to that to celebrate Thursday, National Black Cat Day. That is probably how I'm going to celebrate Black Cat Day. Oh, you have a black dog? Okay, that's good. Well, you can, you know, maybe dress up your dog as a cat for Halloween. Um, so yeah, enjoy Black Cat Day. Also on Thursday, do I stress you out? Alanis Morissette has this aspect in her chart, which makes a lot of sense. Mercury, the planet of the mind, making a square with Pluto, which is penetrating and uh, catalyzing and um, wants to sort of wreck things, destroy in order to create, destroy in order to create. That's very uh, Scorpionic, right? And that's really what she did with her songs, right? She was quite menacing in her lyrics, calling people out, putting people on blast. I see right through you. Mercury square to Pluto is a chance for us to dig deep and to understand other psychology as well as our own. And uh, this could be messy. You don't seem to mind. It's ripe. Four, deep thinking, intense interactions with others. Keep that in mind. And uh, best friend with benefits. Mercury squared to Pluto is a really great opportunity to transform relationships and to achieve deeper intimacy. So keep that in mind on Thursday with Mercury squared to Pluto. I think so, too. Um, I think black cats are great. Very nice. Yeah. Your dogs are Brindle and Merle. Those are great names. I like them. They're very, very different. Different names. Um, oh, and you have a black short hair. Oh, really nice. A British short hair, black cat, and a Bengal cross tabby. Oh, wow. Do they get along, Magpie? I hope they get along. That would be nice. Um, additionally, on Thursday, Jupiter is going to re-enter Pisces. Until December 20th, remember, uh, Jupiter is retrograde. That's why it's going back into Pisces. An expansion can be actualized through compassion, spirituality, and imagination. And um, you want to also consider May. Go back to May. Maybe look at your emails. See what was going on in May. Maybe you have a, a calendar. Um, whatever was going on in May might rear its head again because um, Jupiter's re-entering. Um, Pisces, where it was in May. So keep that in mind. Uh, how important is it to know your birth time as compared to just date? Well, obviously the birth time is great, um, but you can also glean a lot of information without the birth time as well. Um, the shape your chart makes, your different planet, but um, obviously the more information, the better, but you can still glean a lot of insights into your astrology with just your chart sans birth time. So keep that in mind. Oh, I'm glad your two cats adore each other. That's really, really nice. Um, oh, you have, oh, you have British short hair. Oh, I didn't know that. That's great. She is an Abyssinian. Very, very nice. Oh, really cool. Tiger stripe. That's my Clyde. And Shelby is spotted with 
is called Merle. I like that. That's really, really nice. So enjoy Jupiter's entry into Pisces. Again, a shortcut for really making the most of Jupiter. Because remember, Jupiter is all about expansion and growth and opportunity. And Pisces is very much Jesus, right? Um, that's what they said Jesus was. Um, wasn't really born on December 25th. Is that joke? If, if Jesus were a Capricorn, he would have sold the cross, right? So Jesus is perceived as being a Pisces. So you want to ask yourself, when Jupiter is in Pisces, what would Jesus do? How would he handle it? So keep that in mind. With Jupiter's entry into Pisces.